healthcare company and based in Germany. In last video, we saw the orphan drug designation procedure in EU. In today's video, we will see the procedure in US. We will discuss what are the laws or regulations related to orphan drug in US, what are the regulatory bodies involved for orphan drugs in US, what are the criteria for classification of orphan drug in US and what are the steps to receive orphan drug designation and what to do once you receive your orphan drug designation in US. Okay, so let's start. First, first question is what are the laws or regulations related to orphan drug in US? In 1983, Orphan Drug Designation Act was passed in US. I hope you remember how this law was passed after the TV show called Quincy. Do you remember that? We discussed that in the first video of the Orphan Drug series. So following to this Orphan Act, 21 CFR 316 was implemented. As you can see in this figure, this is the regulation which include the orphan drug regulation and all the information related to it. Now the second question is, what are the regulatory bodies involved for orphan drugs in US? US FDA has separate office called Office of Orphan Product Development OOPD, which is related to orphan drugs. This OOPD evaluates the application related to the orphan drug designation. Now the next question comes, what is the criteria for classification of orphan drugs in US? How will we decide if we should apply for orphan drug designation or not? First, the drug should be used for a rare disease or condition. For rare diseases, the prevalence of condition in US must be less than 2 lakhs people in US. If it's a vaccine and blood product, then this number is less than 2 lakhs people receiving the product annually. Okay. Second condition is that there is no drug approved for disease or condition for which we are requesting the orphan drug status. And the third is that the drug is not part of marketing application submitted prior to filing orphan designation request. Once you know what the criteria for orphan drug designation in US are, you can apply for this application at any stage in the development of a product non-clinical or clinical or prior to ND or BLA application, any of these steps. So what are the steps and how to apply for the orphan drug designation? Let's see that. These are the steps to gain orphan drug designation in US. First is requesting a meeting with FDS OOPD. What is OOPD? We just discussed that, right? Office of Orphan Product Development. Then you submit your ODD application. Then OOPD review and evaluate your application and finally the decision is made and communicated to sponsor. Let's see each of these steps one by one. First step is meeting with FDA OOPD. First we need to submit a meeting request but as part of this meeting request what do we need to include? We need to include brief statement of meeting purpose, products information or any applicable designation request. Whether we want a informal or formal meeting and what is the proposed meeting dates and times from our side we need to include that as well preferred meeting format that means we want a teleconference or in person face to face meetings and the contact information from our side so these all makes the part of our meeting application so these all makes the part of our meeting request as soon as we submit the meeting request within five calendar days opd they determines the meeting type and they communicate us the proposed meeting date. Once we as a sponsor know the meeting date, at least two weeks prior to meeting, we submit a meeting package. And what does this meeting package contains? This meeting package contains the meeting date, time and subject, detailed explanation of the meeting purpose, basic product information, product background including how it may be used for rare diseases or condition, proposed agenda including detailed list of questions with all the supporting data, a list of all the participants. We have to submit all this as part of our meeting request. After the meeting, we as a sponsor provides meeting minutes to OOPD via email within 15 days after the meeting. OOPD reviews and responds within 15 days with any revisions if required. So this was all about the meetings before ODD application. They will not do any assessment and will not give us any decision that yes, we will most likely give you the designation or not. No, they will not do it. These are just a meeting to discuss any concern on any procedural related aspect and so on, right? So you can discuss those kind of 
procedural questions but they will not make any decision at the time of meeting so once you are done with the meeting now it's time to submit your odd application the application should include all the information which is listed in 21 CFR 316.20. Please note, foreign sponsors must have a US resident agent to file an application for orphan drug designation. Meaning, if you are an EU based company, you need to make sure that you have a US agent who can file on behalf of you. Okay. Once you submit the application, the application is reviewed by scientific staff of OOPD and after the scientific staff review, the second level review is performed by OOPD team leader. And after the OOPD team leader review, the next level review is performed by OOPD director. Okay. So there are level of the review there. Within 90 days, the decision is made whether your product gets the designation or it gets the denial letter. In case there are any additional information is required for further assessment, health authority will ask us and issue us a letter for this. Okay. After the decision, FDA publishes information in orphan designation database on their website. You can check this register to see what are the products ha that have orphan designation for what kind of indication as you can see in this figure, right? This is another format in which you can see the information. If you filter the information, you can also filter the product which received the orphan designation and in the end, which also got the BLA or NDA approval because do you remember we can get the orphan drug designation. But it can be the case that we do not get the BLA or NDA approval in the end due to several reasons, several factors, right? So you can filter out and check all these kind of information from this database. So now once you got ODD, what to do after that? What are the next step? As we discussed in last video for EU, similarly for US, the same concept of annual report will apply because suppose you got the ODD today, but you will submit your ND or BLA application after three years. Within those three years, meanwhile, that disease is no more a rare disease or your product does not qualify for orphan drug designation anymore. So your designation will not be any more valid now, right? That's why we need to keep proving that the orphan status is still valid and we will still meet the designation criteria in US. And for this, we need to submit annual report each year, including relevant data until we submit our ND or BLA application. These are the similar concept which we also discussed in the previous video for EU, right? So it is a similar kind of concept. So this was all about getting orphan drug designation in US. But before we end this video, do you know what are the differences in orphan drug designation process in US and EU? If you know the answer, then let me know in the comment section. If not, then don't worry. We'll discuss that in the next upcoming video. Till then, let's stay tuned.